Today on Kara's Kitchen, we're gonna have fish! But I don't like fish. Then let's deep fry it. Okay. Deep fry tilapia. The only thing easy or cheap about Kara is her cooking. Only thing easy or cheap about Kara is her cooking. Let's get started. First thing you're gonna need is tilapia. I'm gonna show you both how to make fish sticks and just fry it whole. One lemon and one lime. Two eggs, flour, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, cayenne pepper, parsley flakes, and a gallon of peanut oil. It's already in the pot at about 350 degrees. Those frying thermometers come in handy, so you might wanna get Another thing you might want is a spider. You know, it makes things easy to get in and out of the pot without, you know, ha! burning yourself. So you saw my peanut oil was already heating. I choose peanut oil because it's the cheapest, it's great to fry in. If you're allergic, use something else. At your grocery store, it'll save frying oil on the label if you can't figure First thing we need is a big bowl. Get it about a cup of flour, a tablespoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, about half a teaspoon or a couple good grinds of pepper, and half a teaspoon of paprika, half to a whole teaspoon of cayenne pepper, about a teaspoon of parsley flakes, the zest of a lime, and the zest of a lemon. Take a fork and whisk it around. Make sure everything is nice and even in there. In another bowl, two eggs, put in the juice of both your lemon and your lime. And take that your fork and give it a whisk until it looks pretty even. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two tilapias, I'm gonna cut one of them into fish sticks and the other one I'm gonna leave whole. I suggest cutting with the grain. You're gonna have two little ones right here and that's okay. Now we're gonna take our two bowls, take our tilapia, let's go ahead and throw it right in, get a good coating on it, then I'm going to dip them into the egg and then back into our mixture. Might get a little club hand. It's okay. Just wash it off. Water's not going to hurt. You want to keep your fish whole. Do the same thing. Just get a good layer of mixture on it. Get your egg in there. Swish it around and back into the mixture. There we go. Now whenever you deep fry anything, you always want to lower it in. You don't want to drop it in because the splash will hurt you. Keep in mind, this oil is 350 degrees, so just lower it in nicely. This is going to cook up pretty quickly. You're only going to want it in there for three or four minutes at most. As you can see, they start to float up to the top after a minute. If you put in too many at a time, it'll make the oil cool down and they won't cook at the right speed or the right temperature. If you do have floaters, just try and flip them over. Some of them might be too stubborn to flip, as long as they're cooked on both sides. You don't want any raw egg. Start turning a nice beige color, they are ready to come out. You don't want to overcook fish. It tastes a little chewy after that. Get in my other fish sticks. All right, they look about done. want to get them onto a plate, preferably with a napkin or maybe some sort of drying sheet. That way you can let the oils fall out a little bit. Now we're trying a whole tilapia. Just right in there. Spider a good shake so it comes off. This baby might take a couple minutes longer just because it's bigger. Alrighty, this baby is done. Get that on a plate. One great thing about frying oil is that you can reuse it. All you have to do is wait for it to cool down, which it is not even close. And once it does, you filter it through a funnel, try using a sieve or something like that, and put it right back in the bottle, just as long as it's cool enough. Okay, as you can see here, I took my fish off my napkins and back onto the plate. My favorite way to eat them is with a little bit more lemon juice and a side of tartar sauce.
You can use cocktail sauce instead, or you can use both at the same time. Tastes good either way. And this is fried tilapia.